Senator Dino Melai is not, is not here today. And uh, uh, because of that, I have 22 co-sponsors instead of 23. With that, if you permit me, I would like to proceed on the motion. Go ahead, please. The Senate notes that the federal government of Nigeria is desirous of developing her inland waterways through the agency, the National Inland Waterways Authority, NIWA, which operates on behalf of the Federal Minister of Transportation. The Senate also notes that the federal government of Nigeria awarded contracts for the dredging of the Lower River Niger, construction of Baro ports, installation of cargo handling equipment, and connecting access routes to ensure movement of goods and services to the northern part of the country, in addition to the general improvement of social economic activities in the north. The Senate further notes that the Barrow Port project is expected to create about 3,000 direct jobs and many more indirect jobs, as well as improving our road network by keeping heavy duty trailers and trucks off our roads and thereby extending the lifespan of the roads. The Senate is aware that the capital dredging of the Lower River Niger from Wari to Baro had been completed. The Senate further notes that the construction of Baro port and the cargo handling equipment had been completed and commissioned by Mr. President on the 19th of January 2019. Also notes that the access roads which will facilitate, facilitate movement of goods from Baro to the northern part of the country was awarded in 2015 and 2018 for Lambata to Bida and Agaye, Kacha and Baro, respectively. The Senate is concerned that the two major access routes, Lambata to Agaye and Agaye, Kacha, Baro, respectively, have only achieved about 20% and 2% progress. The Senate is worried that funding of the access routes had been grossly inadequate, as 670 million and 4.5 billion naira so far had been released for the projects out of the contract sum of 17 billion and 33 billion respectively. The Senate is disturbed that over 40 billion had so far been expended on the various components of the Baro, of the Baro port without achieving any significant progress toward the utilization of the port. And the Senate is alarmed that such laudable project with all its potential benefits would be so neglected. Accordingly, the Senate resolves to urge the federal government to make funds available. Accordingly, the Senate resolves to urge the federal government to make funds available to contractors handling the Barrow River Port project for final completion. The Senate also urged the federal government of Nigeria to transfer the road project to Presidential, Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund (PIDF) for better funding and execution. The Senate urges the Federal Government of Nigeria to facilitate the, the rehabilitation of the narrow gauge railway in Barrow to ensure the rapid socio-economic growth of Nigeria. The Senate urges that there should be continuous dredging and maintenance by NIWA of the Lower River Niger to ensure its navigability. And finally, the Senate mandates the Senate Committee on Marine Transport and Works to investigate NIWA activities in respect of the Barrow port and make adequate recommendations to facilitate its early completion. I so move, Mr. Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen of the press. Uh, as uh, he said, my name is Bima Muhammad Enagi. I represent the people of Niger South from Niger State. This morning, I presented a motion at the floor of the Senate titled The Urgent Need to Complete all aspects, all components of the Barrow Port. You will recall that during the time of uh, late President Yaradua, the project was awarded for the Barrow Port. Unfortunately, up till today, that project has not been realized. With all the benefits that will accrue to this, to this country if that project is completed, you, you all know the congestion that we are facing in Lagos, in Lagos ports. This is inland uh, 
I mean inland ports that is very essential for the socio-economic development of Nigeria, especially in the northern part of the country. So the motion was presented today, uh, appealing to the federal government to provide enough funds for the completion of that project for the benefit of the entire country. Thank you. Okay, colleagues, you have question, one or two questions? Okay. Um, during the time of Yaradua, the contract for the dredging of the of the river Niger, the lower river Niger from uh, Wari port to Baro was awarded. And about, f about 30 f 35 billion was spent on dredging uh, the entire route. However, you, I mean, you remember that the most important thing in dredging, when you dredge, you have to continue to maintain. If you don't dredge, it will get silted. And from that time to now, I'm sure the, the river is already silted and will require additional dredging. Apart from that, the barrow port itself, the installation of the, of, the, of the handling equipment had all been installed. The road works because generally there are three components to the, to the port. The dredging, the port itself, and the road network leading out from, the, from barrow town. That also is having serious problems. The road network is not completed. The funding for the road is very poor, and that area needs to be addressed also. Any other question, please? Okay. Uh, colleagues?